Hello and welcome to the world of astronomy. This is Akash Veer and today I will tell you about one of the most important term which is burningly used by scientists and thousands of scientists are working on it in the field of astronomy and astrophysics a wormhole metaphorically speaking everybody wants a wormhole a kind of shortcut suppose if you are to go from Delhi to England so instead of going by air or by any other means of transportation one wants to go there within a fraction of time and without even journeying that distance that is a wormhole a shortcut a, sa a same kind of thing happens when we study astronomy and this is Einstein Rosen bridge so this bridge or this Rosen bridge or this wormhole is a kind of endless black hole it connects two points in space-time fabric as coined by Einstein Wormholes are spatial solution of Albert Einstein's field equations. If you want to visualize it, you can think of an eternal tunnel in three-dimensional space which is just going forward and without any kind of opening at the other end. The most importantly, they are consistent with general theory of relativity. If you want to visualize how a black hole works and how this wormhole related, you can take a piece of paper, a slice, and you can mark two points on the paper. Okay? So if you can turn the paper in such a way that the two points on either side of the paper, one is on the left side and another in the on the right side of the strip, are coming before each other. So, to move from one, one point of space, you can go to another point of space without traveling that space. This is what a shortcut is given by the term wormhole. In 1928, Hermann Weyl used some electromagnetic theories and used Albert Einstein's equations and he gave a solution. He did not coin this term, he called it one-dimensional tube. Later, in 1957, John Wheeler coined the term wormhole in his papers, co-authored with Charles Misner. Actually, Schwarzschild was the first person who studied and used Einstein's equations in his calculations in Schwarzschild metric he coined the term he said wormholes are something which are like eternal black holes and these are traversable so this traversable means through which one can pass from one side to another side but they are too they cannot sustain they will collapse as soon as something enters in it According to theories, some say black these wormholes are being formed at the quantum at the quantum scale every time in the universe, but but, but nobody has ever seen. In 1916, Ludwig Flem used einstein rosen bridge its solution, and a few months after Schwarzschild rediscovered this Einstein driven bridge where Einstein stands for the name uh, for his name Albert Einstein and Rosen is for Nathan Rosen and they published this paper in 1935 although Schwarzschild's wormhole traversable but it still inspired many scientists like Kip Thorne, so they thought of something important. 
according to this negative matter or negative density that if there is somewhere negative density that energy density is negative a wormhole can be created theoretically it can happen but there is one effect that is Casimir effect it says that in quantum field theory energy density can be negative relative to ordinary matter vacuum energy and theoretically energy can be negative and maintained at that negative state as mentioned by Kip Thorne, Stephen Hawking and all. So this is all about wormhole. I hope you like this lecture. If you like my lectures please share subscribe and like the video and hit the like button have a good day take care rest would be there in the part two bye bye